Welcome to This Week in Blazer Softball with head coach Marla Townsend. Hey Blazer fans, welcome to This Week in Blazer Softball. I'm here with head coach Marla Townsend of the UAB Blazer Softball team. Marla, since the last time we talked to you, you've had um, two conference um, series, one against Southern Miss where you swept them on their own turf, and then Tulsa came here and we had even a televised match. Right. We won that one and then struggled through the other two at the end. Um, Tulsa's number one and we're number two. Can you give us a quick recap on those conference series? Yeah, I was just uh, really proud of the athletes, the way that they kicked it in the last you know, three series against UTEP and going out there and uh, taking two or three. And then obviously the Southern Miss series was big. Um, but then to, to have Tulsa coming in and uh, giving ourselves a shot, you know, to finish number one. So came out uh, first game and uh, had a key hit by Mandy Lohman to take that. In fact, you know, first televised win. So that was big. And then I thought that we, uh, we played strong. Second just gave up a, a crucial three run home run in the first, um, but then had a hard time just coming through and producing runs both games and uh, you've got to produce runs to win so uh, you know very proud of the accomplishments finished second it's the highest we've ever finished and uh, but we're not satisfied. Well, like you said we were talking earlier all three of those games against Tulsa were decided by one hit. Yes. One yeah. hit was the deciding factor for all three games so it's close. It, yeah absolutely and um, you know, we uh, we're definitely missing we're missing our long ball this weekend, and it was ironic that uh, the long ball was what beat us this weekend because we've been so successful uh, to this point. So it's just a matter of regrouping, going back in because we finished regular season, not felt we finished strong, and then this is a brand new season that we're coming upon with the uh, single elimination eight team tournament, and uh, so we're looking forward to getting it started on Thursday. Well, it has been successful. Number two team in conference yes. USA, very close with the number one team, right. neck and neck, and also the number two seed for the tournament um, coming up. What does that say about the season as a whole and how excited you are to get started with this tournament and look forward to this postseason? Well, it just says that the girls have worked extremely hard. Uh, you know, the seniors, like I've said before, just the leadership that they provided us was amazing and uh, how much improvement we've had over the course of the year. You know, and of course, still at this time, we're looking back and we're saying all those uh, 11 one-run games, you know, what if we would have done something different? So we're still at the point where, uh, you know, we're not patting ourselves on the back and saying, hey, great job, way, way to get second. We're still there saying, hey, we were close. We could have, should have finished it out, and we didn't. So let's get even hungrier right now and come into the conference tournament playing our best ball. Well, we're coming in Thursday night. We get a Thursday night at 7 p.m. matchup yes. um, in the quarterfinals against Memphis. Now, we swept Memphis in regular season. Are we expecting anything different out there or is it just a pro player game mentality and get to the quarterfinals? Yeah, well, you know, we had them in the first series of conference play and um, it was battles. All the, all the games were tight and uh, so they're a much improved team. I feel we're a much improved team. So it just comes down with the tournament play. Um, you know, we would love to come out and jump on them first. We'd love to score first. And uh, it just comes down to playing seven innings of uh, hard-nosed softball and uh, just kind of trusting everything that's got us to this point so far and just relying on some big hits. Well, we've got a lot more information to give the fans about the tournament and when the games are and how much the cost is. So we'll be back in just a little bit with more after that. This Week in Blazer Softball returns right after this. Blazer fans, welcome back to This Week in Blazer Softball. I'm here with junior center fielder Whitney Fletcher. Whitney, you've had a great season this year and twice you've been named Conference USA Hitter of the Week. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you and what's it like to have that kind of honor? Well, at first I felt like very shocked about it when I first heard it from coaches like Lucy called me and Holly called me. Like I was just very shocked because I never had that experience in my life, especially at D1 school. So. I felt like it was a big honor for me. It was. We had a home game this past weekend on televised against Tulsa. We were the number two team, Tulsa's number one. Mm -hmm. So it's a big game, Saturday morning, and then we won. So it's the first televised win. See, our 
Blazer softball has ever had. Mm -hmm. What was that like to play in the TV game? Does that affect anything and how you play? Does it make you a little bit more nervous? Well, um, before the game, like the night before I was dreaming, I was like, oh man, I'm going to be nervous and this and that. Like I was just felt like I was just going to, you know, mess up or anything because I knew I had like a lot of people watching me or whatever. But I like time I got out there on the field, I just knew like, you know, it's nothing to worry about. Just play your game, you know. But after the game, I had got like a lot of text messages. I saw you on TV and this and that. But otherwise, it wasn't a big deal as I thought it would be. Well, congratulations on the win there. That's great to have that televised Thank win. You. We're looking forward to hosting the Conference USA softball tournament this weekend. Um, and Thursday at 7 o'clock mm -hmm. is Blazer softball's first mm -hmm. game. Looking forward to that and playing Memphis. Mm -hmm. What are you looking forward to there, and what are your thoughts on the tournament as a whole? Well, my first thought is just take it one step at a time. You know, go out here and beat Memphis, and then worry about the other games later. I feel like that we need to just relax, have fun. This is our field, you know, play our game, and we'll, we'll be the best we can do. So. Well, we're hoping for a good show against Memphis Thursday night, and we appreciate you coming out and talking to us, and good mm -hmm. luck practicing and getting ready. Okay, thank you. Stick around. We'll have more right after this. Blazers fans want Blazers gear, and the number one place for UAB Blazers merchandise is at UABSports.com. With over 400 Blazers items, including sweatshirts, t-shirts, hats, and more, UABSports.com has the greatest selection you'll find anywhere. You'll also get great customer service, 365-day hassle-free returns, and $5.99 flat rate shipping on every order. So when you need UAB Blazers gear, head to UABSports.com. Hey Blazer fans, welcome back to this weekend Blazer softball. Coach, we've got some exciting news. We just found out this morning that Mandy Lohman and Kat Crawford got Conference USA All Academic Team. Uh, Absolutely. Talk a little bit about that. Well, that, it's just tremendous. Uh, this is Mandy's third time to receive this honor. So, uh, just role models on the field, off the field, in the classroom. Both of them are outstanding. Will truly be missed. Uh, but what a great career they've all had. Well, we're excited for them, and we wanted to make sure the fans Absolutely. knew that they were succeeding in the classroom, too. Yes. Fans, we want to give you a little bit more information about the Conference USA tournament this weekend. The quarterfinals are Thursday, and games start at 11 a.m. at the UAB Softball Complex. Then we've got the semifinals on Friday that start at 2 p.m. There will be two games then, and the championship game Saturday is televised on the CBS Sports Network, and that's at 1 p.m., so Saturday, May 12th is the championship game. Coach, to wrap it all up, tell us a little bit about what a big deal this is to host this conference championship, but to also be a number two seed and to have such a successful season leading up to it. Well, it, it just means a lot. I mean, it means a lot that we're home, and I just left the field now, and it just looks incredible. I mean, they've really done a great job getting it fixed up, and uh, we're looking forward to obviously playing, but we're looking forward to hosting, uh, you know, seven other schools in Conference USA and their fans and bringing them in and kind of showing off Birmingham, showing off our beautiful campus. So it means a lot. Uh, it's exciting that just when you get on the field, regular season got you into the seating, but then that's all that matters. So it's going to be some good games. I guarantee you there's going to be some tight, some close, hard fought games and that's exciting. So we're looking forward Thursday night at seven o'clock getting started and uh, just proud, proud of the athletes, how well that they've done all season and the fact that we're able to be home, sleep in their beds, and come out to our park and play in the conference championship is huge. Well, we're excited for all the action this weekend, Thursday through Saturday, and we appreciate you taking time to talk to us with this busy tournament weekend coming up. Thank you. Thanks, Coach. That's all for this week in Blazer Softball. We'll see you next time.